Hi, it's Jenna Templeton here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. It's finally here. I've been meaning to share with you my zines that I've personally made myself and I, I sell in my online shop at my blog lifelikedocumented.com. Um, yeah, it's been a long time coming. I've obviously been showing you a haul or two and I plan to share with you some lots more other zine themed videos because I've had a lot of people requesting to see um, more of my zines or ones that I've made. So that's, um, thank you for making this video possible. The interest and the motivation by your comments and your likes have um, let me to, I guess, share my work. I like to make zines about things that I'm passionate about. If you really want a copy, I'll, I'll, honestly, I'll go grab one as soon as you can before they run out because I'm not sure yet when or if I'll reprint. Obviously, you guys know that I love snail mail, happy mail, sharing lots of pen pal ideas on this channel. And yeah, my love affair with snail mail started quite a few years ago. Well, started in childhood. And then I kind of got to my teenage years and I did a few letters in between there and then it kind of paused off for a bit during university. And then I kind of picked it back up again um, when I finished uni and I was working in creative fields and, and things like that. So um, yeah, it's a definitely a big part of my day is creating mail for pen pals, people that send me things to my PO box. And yeah, this it's kind of it's been doing this for quite a few years, so um, I don't know why I haven't shown you my little zine sooner. Now um, I decided to call my zine Happy Mail Day, and believe it or not, because this zine I did do quite a few years ago. Believe it or not, Happy Mail wasn't a thing when I did this zine. I, I just thought I want to call this Happy Mail because the mail inside here is particularly fun, bright, and colourful. And it's the feeling that you get when you receive or you're given mail. So yeah, happy mail wasn't a thing and then all of a sudden it's blown up and now it's a thing. So yeah, I'm going to take you through a little flip through now with my zine. And as you can see, I've got all some of the creations that I made in the zine with me here. Obviously I like to experiment with different envelope making, collaging, drawing, illustration, different ways to share your supplies. So all that is in this zine. Oh, this is my little embroidered girl. So that DIY is in here as well. And before I knew too much about flipbooks, um, I actually made, this was probably, I guess, one of my first flipbooks that I ever made, but I called it a letter note um, because the idea was that there was little envelopes inside, inside this here. And then I kind of collaged and made pouches. So. This is before I knew what flip books were. I, I made, yes, yeah, so I guess you would call it a flip book now, but to me, I called it like a letter note because it's just got little characters and little pockets of bits inside it. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to get to this flip through. I just wanted to show you some of the bits and pieces that I actually made that include DIYs in here. So, um, obviously, there's a little bit about my love for mail, my history. Um, envelope making ideas and again I just don't want to show it fully because I want you guys to if you want to get it you can be surprised by some of the things inside I love making little packages so I kind of go into detail about how I put them together and I also did like lots of illustration on bags collaging I did I guess accordion collage folder and I really would like to share that on here soon how I made one of them and yes, yeah, so there's a letter note, handmade notebooks. So I'm just kind of giving you a little brief. There's a few little origami techniques, um, making rubber stamps. Again, I show you the little girl. And yeah, then I got themed kits and handmade stationery, which I'm like absolutely love doing. Um, I guess another thing I want to share on this channel. And yeah, they're going to the the themes here. And there's a little bit about making a zine as well in, inside. So it's quite full of helpful information. If you're a paper crafter, you love stationery, um, you like journaling and documenting. So I've got like a little template in there. 
And I've got these little bits, these little seals I made to decorate your envelopes. Um, and just, yeah, a bit about my socials. Um, there's also some information about my old blog in there. So, I used to have a blog called My Life as a Magazine. It's still up. Um, I just don't update it much anymore. And that kind of, if you love Japan, cute things, that's kind of like a confetti blast of all that stuff on there. So this is my Japan in the collection zine. So it's kind of like a little travel guide within like I guess a shop reviews. And what I've done is I actually collected all the items that I purchased on my trip to Japan a few years ago. I went to a lot of stationery, kawaii themed stores and lots of character goods stores. Um, also like I guess like Studio Ghibli. I love this little character, Peko Chang. So I got a lot of things from her. I went to the Astro Boy Museum. Um, yeah, I got to Disneyland. And yeah, I went to the stores located in Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka, Nagano, Yudanenka, and Hiroshima. So that's the stores that are included in this guide. So it's not just Tokyo in Japan, but some outer areas that are quite easy to get to by bullet trains so that don't take too long. So there's also some information on that in there. Yeah, so I still have some a lot of the items here. Bags and that, and then I've got my little Peko Chan tins. And yeah, some of the items here, um, any Disney Beauty and the Beast fans. Here's my little chip mug. Um, I love this little Japanese character. And then I've got my little post-its here and normally when someone buys one of my Japan zines I include one of these little post-its. They have these type of stationaries at Disneyland. So a few years ago when I did release this scene because it's gone a few print runs I'm not sure if I'm going to reprint again so I've only got like a couple of copies left in my store so if you really want to grab this and you're a Japan fan and you want to uh, know about some stores I guess off the beaten track so there's not all touristy like places there I actually did quite a bit of research myself before I went over and then I also just found areas like one of the places I found was like this diamond city place. It was just, I just saw this, I was on the train and my husband and me were just looking out the window and um, we saw this like big rocket, silver rocket type ship thing with all stars on it and I'm like what's that and we got off at one of the stations and it wasn't the correct station but we asked, I drew like a little picture of the little rocket mall that I saw and I was like to one of the lovely Japanese people there who are all very helpful I'm like do you know like where this is and they kind of explained that was the next station so we got on and then we found like yeah we found it was called Diamond City and there was like a freshness burger there I'm a bit of a burger fan so um, we went there and um, yeah I'm just like recalling this memory it's it's just if you do just kind of don't have set plans all the time as well you can stumble across some amazing things and I remember I found like the Hello Kitty store there and there was like this other store called Village Vanguard and they have all like quirky knickknacks anyway you can you can learn all about this in the zine I'm kind of like going on um I, I really just feels like it was yesterday I was in Japan and I, I really do miss it every day so yeah if you're a Japan fan um I guess yeah, and you like all like different fun character goodies and then this scene's for you. So it's kind of, it's a, looks like an A5 and it's got two separate pages, which is printed on A3 paper. Um, I did some like illustration -y work on here, you can kind of see. Yeah, so it's printed on A3 paper, but the idea that I had when I made this, because I like, when I make zines, I like to think about how a person's going to interact with the print the actual print media. I, I try to find fun ways each time of I guess looking at it. I think it adds to the experience when you've got print. Um, so the idea is that you can read through it. Um, it's light, you can take it with you if you want. But also I wanted the A3 size because it was really important to me. Because I don't know about you, but I just love seeing collections. I just love collections of things. I'm a collector myself. Um, Obviously, I've got an interest in um, still life product photography, and I do that quite a bit through work. Like I've worked in magazines and different things like that. So I quite like styling and playing with different bits and bobs. Um, and I like the idea that maybe 
if you like all these type of things too, that you could use this as a poster to put on your wall. So that's why I made it a bit more sturdier and it's got that kind of nice glossy feel because if you like all this stuff and you like scent collections, you might want to put this on your wall as like a little poster. So that was the idea of why I designed it the way that I did for this one. So it's not like the other ones where a lot of zines can be cut and paste. I did design this, I did some illustration work and just kind of had fun with it. Um, I love Japanese magazines and in their magazines they kind of do things like this where they've got like I guess the stylist or the person they're interviewing and they have like the little speech bubbles so I guess it's kind of the style is inspired by Japanese magazines as well. Let me know what you think in the comments or if, if you've been to Japan maybe some of your favorite stores. Um, obviously I like to go back because since I've been there's been a big boom in more stationary superstores popping up and I hope you enjoy this little talk and flip through of this scene. Thanks! Travel Japan one memento at a time. So this is my life in biscuit zine and it's available in my online shop. So yeah, so I illustrated all these biscuits. It's a memoir of biscuit memories and includes some of my favorite biscuits from childhood through to adulthood. It includes a little review of the biscuits as well as like a dunking time. So a dunking time for how long that you can actually dunk your biscuits into your tea. So um, do any of you guys like to dunk biscuits into your tea? If so, also let me know what some of your favorite biscuits are. Um, I'd love to know. And you might even find some of them inside this little zine here. I'm going to do a flip through. So this is my little biscuit zine. Um, so it's a, this one's a little bit of an um, illustrated one that I illustrated and then I've kind of done a bit of cut and pasting when I put it together. So I actually used fabrics and I placed like, um, added some designed lettering here later. But I actually did make it, set it out like this with the, on top of fabrics and things like that and photographed it. Each consumed biscuit over my life from childhood to adulthood tells a story. There is nothing more relaxing than sitting down to a hug in a cup, a biscuit whilst reading a good book, magazine or watching a TV show and movie. I hope you enjoy my life in biscuits and that it helps you to rekindle some of your own biscuit memories. So each of the zines come with this free little um, gift tag and it's got a little illustrated mug that I use for when I was drinking tea um, again through my childhood to adulthood so it's kind of like my life in my mugs as well because a nice enjoyment of a biscuit isn't complete without a lovely cup of tea so um, yeah I also feature some of my teacups and favorite mugs and a little bit about them and yeah so you can kind of collect them all um, yeah so you get one free with the zine and I'm looking at if you guys are interested if you do like the little tags let me know because I'm thinking about making some more little tags up with um, biscuits on them and teacups as well so yeah let me know so I'm just going to take you a little flip through this scene here I've got a little bit about how I have my tea um, over how many sugars, what milk I use, what tea I use. Um, again, I guess this has kind of changed over time. But yeah, so it's got some nice childhood biscuit memories. I used to make these when I was little, these type of biscuits. This is an Aussie favorite party food. Um, I don't want to tell you too much because hopefully you guys can support me and you might want to buy a copy of this scene. So I like to keep a few things a surprise for you to read and learn. Um, it's only fair if you guys are buying um, some of my products from me that you're getting something kind of unique and your own kind of special experience as well. So yeah, you can find this over on my online shop over on my blog at lifelikedocumented.com. Yeah, I've also kind of dissect what's inside some of these biscuits. Some of them are Australian, some of them I guess are British. Um, yeah, so I do quite like dunking them and things like that. And then obviously it takes me through my school years, what I enjoyed with 
friends, we used to always swap biscuits and chips with each other. Um, so those are kind of like kid swaps on the playground. So like I said, I did um, do some cut and pasting when I made this. So what that means is that I created the zine by um, actually making a little book and I glued down all these different papers or um, fabrics and then I did the illustrations and then I took it through a design program and kind of laid out all on top to get this kind of look and I've done like a little lunch box and some great memories of my nan I was so upset to lose one of my nans this year it's been really tough but um, at least I can have some of her biscuit sharing memories in this little zine here to look back on is always nice um, yes I really miss her And then there's some more biscuits for like special high teas and like the fancy biscuits. Uh, I don't know if you guys had it uh, as well, but in our family we had like our favorite biscuits. Then we would have special visitor biscuits. So you'd reserve, I guess, some of the best stuff to the visitors. Um, things like Tim Tams or, or Monty's. I think there was a lot of times where I'd be watching, I think like movies of my Mum and sister, mainly like Anna Green Gables, I was like, can we get the Monty's out? I was like, kind of special thing that we did, like a little ritual, I guess, that we did. Um, do you guys have any of any fond biscuit memories? Um, feel free to share them in the comments below, I'd love to know. I'm quite into Japan, so I don't think any zine would really be complete for me making if I didn't include something on Japan. So there's some things that I got from Japan. There's also some other memories of some little Asian supermarkets that uh, my mom got me some of these little treats at. And yeah, so just my mugs. And then I've got a little page on here for you guys because I like a good activity page. Um, you can put your own biscuit memories in there. So, and there's my little teacups. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little flip through of this biscuit scene. Um, and then I've got a little, of course, got a little doily on the back. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, feel free to head over to my shop and support me and um, buy a coffee zine if you, you like it. If you really enjoy this um, little flip through or you want to see more zines, um, I'd just really love to know what you think. Um, leave a comment below. I'd love hearing from you, even if it's like a hey or um, something that you'd like me to show in more detail. And also, if you like this video, obviously give it a like because then I'll know you um, enjoying this and I'll feature some more zine videos. And um, yeah, hit that subscribe button is I think the biggest supporting thing you can do for any YouTuber. And um, I look forward to sharing more zine and um, some pen pal ideas in the future.